Sagittarius, you know it would not be right if I didn't give you guys a bonus as well. You and Gemini are always the highest viewed, so of course, you are highly favored. Sorry, other signs don't give a fuck about me. It's all right. I got my gangs. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind that my readings are general and may or may not resonate. So take what does and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus signs for more insight. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you guys would like to book a personal with me, ask me a question, or just check out my horoscope page, everything that you need will be down in the comment section listed below. So, Sagittarius. I wanted to say Cancer, so I'm just going to say... Are some of you guys dating a cancer? Ten of Wands, it's a bird, and whoever it is, it could be a fire sign as well. This person may be flighty. I feel like you cut this person off for being flighty, okay? Yeah, and I feel like now there's some indecision on what to do here because for Wands, there's going to be an opportunity for a commitment with this person. Yep, Three of Wands. I do feel like this person is going to wind up wanting to come back to you. Or see what you, what's up with you. They may be thinking about you a lot, but they're taking their time to reconcile. This person is stubborn. So it's like, I'm not, I'm not going to come to you. You got to come to me. I'm not going to do it. You have to do it. This is that type of energy, okay? <sighs> Even though this person knows that they're dead ass wrong, okay? I'm never going to say that you guys are wrong because I know y'all not. I mean, sometimes y'all could be, but, you know, other times y'all not, okay? So let's see. Spirit, please tell me what is this person's intentions what does this person really want with sagis the empress wow they want to grow with you so this person does want you ten of swords but they don't feel like they can have you they feel like you might have moved on they feel like you might already be in a commitment with somebody from your past interesting yeah eight of swords they're in their head it definitely can be a fire sign this person keeps showing up in your reading um this fire sign or whoever it is they have a lot of love for you right and it almost seems to me like they're stuck in their head about past relationships that may have failed people that may have left them out in the cold that's why this person is afraid to grow with you they may also still be stuck on somebody from their past but i feel like it's ended already their person is in a whole nother relationship now yeah, but they still want this person. They may have sex with them still. Yeah, Seven of Cups. This person also has options. So they're not committed or they're afraid of commitment. That would still be non-committal. <clears throat> but let's see what actions this person plans to take. What actions does this person plan to take? The Ace of Swords. So this person is going to come in and tell you the truth. Ooh. Ooh, they're going to open up to you. I feel like you're going to have to make a choice. This person is heavily connected to you. You make this person happy. I feel like they're going to wind up falling in love with you. Yep. Yep. But with this two of pentacles, their emotions are up and down a lot. Let's see. Yeah, they don't know whether or not they should give you this, this solid offer. They don't know if they should make this official, but they want to. Believe me when I tell you they want to. And with this two of wands, I feel like they're going to wind up making a decision. Yeah, five of pentacles, they feel left out in the cold. Maybe you blocked this person and you're just not talking to them. They felt that ended, baby, okay? They sad as shit. <clears throat> so let's just see. What is the outcome? Sorry, this is so short, you guys, but this is like pretty out no. Spirit, please tell me what is the outcome? What is the possible outcome for Sagittarius? Possible outcome for Sagittarius, please. The Ace of Wands. This person is about to tell you. I feel like y'all going to argue. Okay? But I feel like the argument is going to make you guys really happy. This is like something that starts out as, as an argument and then you guys wind up kissing. And then happiness occurs. Love occurs. Yep. Yep. Didn't I say that? Love occurs. Queen, Queen of Cups. So y'all, I don't want to say this is passionate, but this feels like a lot of passion. This feels like mad passion. I mean, we got an argument or some words being said, and then emotions 
and then happiness and love. So I'm going to take a leap of faith and say that ain't shit but passion. Because that kiss that happens in the middle of this argument is passion. Let's see what the advice is. Just wait on it, okay? You guys don't need to do anything as it pertains to this person. Or, I mean, literally. All you gotta do is be you. I feel like this person is gonna come back regardless. You could keep holding out. You could talk, whatever. I wouldn't talk to him. I would completely just sit down and be cute, be stable, do your own. This person is gonna come by themselves. I feel like they need time to think about they shit anyway because they petty. Yeah, they petty. They want this relationship, but they stand up here playing like they don't because they're afraid. Their emotions are all over a place when it comes to you. All over the fucking place, all right? You have no idea how much this person thinks about you. <laughs> they think about you a lot. All right, so let's get one card for the rebel deck. It says, you are the shit, and don't forget it. All right, bye, guys.